wow on beauty we've been able to we, we, we've been able to stretch into mental health we've been able to stretch into self-esteem yeah we've been able to stretch into a whole lot of things say hi hi okay oh hello mommy hi okay hi people we are here again okay okay so i know a lot of people are always you know fascinated as to how my mom looks at over 60 so today she's going to be giving us some tips and she's going to be giving us some juice as to how she's been able to maintain the beauty i mean look at her she's over 60 you know so mommy welcome again thank you welcome again to life lessons with thank Canadian. you this is conversations with my mother so um what was it like growing up you know like um you know, I remember you telling me that you used to have a lot of pimples, acne, and all of that. What was it like dealing with all of that? Back home, when I was in secondary school, I have pimples all over my body, my face, my back, everywhere. There's oh, no wow. place, there's no pimples. Even my daddy used to worry about why. So one day, I came home and we have we normally have our outing first Saturday of every month back because I was in Boarding House. We must go get high school. So and one of my auntie is is is, is our one of our junior's wife sister. So she used to live with us. She said, Ah, you you will have not beautiful. Only this place is beautiful. Everywhere is ugly. I said, wow. So that time my daddy used to travel abroad and brought a original isa hmm. i couldn't dilute this isa i just applied directly oh on my, my face God. and i got burnt face jesus you can imagine how terrible that burnt face was your forehead on my forehead it's so peeled off was, it was so bad wow. peel off and brought to the third i think i it wow. it to the third layers wow wow so when i go back to and um, go uh, to uh, school thank god the um, principal used to address me as my my daughter my daughter because my principal and my daddy they were very they are they were friendly and so everybody called me my principal my principal it was only me i love that i should be tied scarf around my face to cover that wow. burnt burnt face oh wow so that was that was my first experience with pimples so that time if i had people sprouts my secondary school oh wow so when i got to I think when I go to technical college hmm. and God does was well, just showing me little little solution, washing your face three times daily, like that, like that. But yet the purpose was still there. Hmm. So when I got to work, I I, I I got work at International Institute of Tropical Agriculture in Badon. So and I began to I said, ah, they said I'm beautiful. What where is the purpose coming from? So one woman was selling these creams and soap. That is how I began to use um, this uh, this cross. That soap that I introduced to you. This um, Kuseda. Okay. Kuseda was the ultimate wow. I used that time that clear all the pimples. I quite so, agree. See, today, as you can see, no more pimples. So if you, are, you have acne or you have pimples there, you are looking for solution. Solution is right there. This is solution you are looking for. Just try to contact Queen Billion. You are already got to me. Okay. <laughs> so um, based on what she just said, I mean, I can totally relate. You know, in this day and age where people, you know, the way sniper is like the in thing in Nigeria for um, killing. killing it, 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 it's synonymous with the Azal. You know, thank God she didn't even think of going to drink it. So that she could kill the pimples from the inside. inside. Just imagine the kind of things that you say to people that have pimples, Side that have pimples. acne. I remember, you know, <laughs> it's crazy. When I was in secondary school, it was so bad. They they like they, they, they tagged me LOP, land of pimples. My pimples was really bad. So just imagine that. I had pimples. You know, I remember that time when my younger brother was still um, in Grace High School and we would go to pick him from school. I remember on one of those occasions, one of those one of those parents that was close to Momsi, we got to the car park and we came out of the car and we met them. 
before they could even say ah, bingo, how are you like ah see your face like <laughs> guys please Attachments. everybody we need to start using our brain some more for lack of better word we need to have more empathy towards people because for me that that really, i still i still remember how i felt is that bad i still remember how, it's how, how how you know that tag affected my mental health how it affected my self-esteem how it affected my esteem as a person before i started you know um studying things that i reacted to i re I, then i realized that oh um i i was allergic to granite i was allergic to sulfur i was allergic to um, butter i had to stop eating all of those things and then stop using any air care products whatsoever that has especially if it's not has sulfur or it's medicated or it has a um, uh, mint or whatever I had to stop a lot of things. The only hair cream that I used for my hair for years and even up till now is shea butter. So you can imagine people are on a journey in their life, but don't we in our, one of our videos we spoke about don't labeling. Error. 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 Why do we label people by the things that is out that is circumstantial? Why there is so much more greatness in a person beyond acne, pimples. beyond pimples? So the, the, there's there's a lot of mental health issues attached to what we say to people and how it affects them we need to do better if you don't have a solution then keep quiet Shut up. i remember back then <laughs> when i first joined this star that time was when F, uh, forever living product was raining mm -hmm. people wanted mm -hmm. to befriend me because they wanted to sell forever living product to me as soon as they meet me oh ah beautiful you sister this. if you use this if you use this every time every freaking mm. time I still remember those days and it was really really bad we need to stop being selfish the, the, the fact that you don't have pimples doesn't mean there are no other health issues that you mm -hmm. are battling with that we cannot see mm -hmm. that we should be able to label you with also so i mean we you but the beauty of pimples is the fact that it results from you having oily skin to begin with mm -hmm. and oily skin is the one that doesn't crack fast it's one that keeps you looking young young so there is a it's good, the best, it's the best skin. It's the one that you know that that keeps you supple. You just need to learn how to maintain it. Right. You just need to know what to do and what not to do. You can't be. You just need to have the right kind of oil on your face. Yes. You just need to ingest the right kind of oil. You cannot be putting dirty things and and expect your face not or your skin to because it becomes sensitive. So it's all about education. Maintenance produce pimples. Exactly. It's all about education. And sometimes it's all about hormonal imbalance. So mm. you, you just need to... I have to study myself. Because now I can eat granite. Mm -hmm. Now I can eat butter. But I still stay away from sulfur. Because once I use it and it goes into my scalp, I start to have breakouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that bad. So you need to know yourself. You need to know what works for you. Because any, there is no problem in this life that doesn't have a solution. You just haven't taken your time mm -hmm. to find the solution. And please, if you don't, like I said before, if you don't have the solution to the problem somebody is facing, don't use it to label them. Mm -hmm. Labeling destroys a lot of people. Oh. Labeling has caused a lot of people to commit suicide. Imagine her mm. taking something acidic to rub her face because yeah. somebody says she's beautiful, but we what? need to be careful what we say to people. We need to be very careful. In this day and age where suicide rate is even rampant mm -hmm. and it is everywhere. Thank God that time there was no there was, it wasn't something that was normal for people to just kill themselves. Mm -hmm. But you know, that was that was like a step towards mm -hmm. that. Imagine if she just drank that as well. That it was that bad. It was really that bad. So we need to be careful. We need to be careful. And for somebody that may be going through this kind of things, don't let people push you into doing things that are not profitable to you. Mm -hmm. Speak up for yourself. Speak up for yourself. When somebody is trying to label you by what your circumstances or what you are going through, put them in their place. Mm -hmm. We need to learn to start speaking up for ourselves and put people in their place because at the end of the day, what right do you have to say that kind of thing to me? Really, what mm -hmm. right did she yeah, have to tell you? Who asked her opinion for your about your beauty? Mm -hmm. Where is the person today? Who asked her about who asked her opinion about your beauty? That woman at the car park at my brother's school who asked her opinion about the people so you she didn't have solution, she just wanted me to feel bad mm -hmm. as if it's I'm the one that Destroy created myself. Self -esteem. Do you know, as, if, as if I'm the one that created myself. As in, so I remember true. even back then in, in secondary school, it was one of those things that really made me toughen up. One of the things that really made me 
quite unfriendly because people always wanted to use number one my my my, my petty stature to bully me you will not have your way and then number two try to insult me because i have pimples excuse me it's a normal thing mm -hmm. it is called puberty yeah so if i have pimples but um, so, oh well i'm good so we need to toughen up and be be stand up for ourselves and be there for ourselves even when people want us to them. feel bad and yeah. condemn us we need to stand up you need to stand up for yourself and speak yeah. up when they say something negative to you you counter it and you shut it down right there and, and then, then move on. and move on so wow on beauty we've been able to we, we, we've been able to stretch into mental health we've been able to stretch into self-esteem yeah we've been able to stretch into a whole lot of things mm -hmm. so watch out for the next video where we continue the conversation about Maintaining your beauty with aging from any age.